So when it comes to differential equations, mixing problems is where it's at. It's the difficult questions, the one that maths teachers love to put on exams. But once you get the hang of it, they're really, really satisfying to do. So mixing problems always set up the same way. There's some box, some container. There's stuff flowing into it, and there's stuff flowing out of it as well. And it's always a mixture of things. I'm going to say oxygen and other gases. Now let's do it the same as the atmosphere. Let's say that there's 23% oxygen in this um, box. And we'll also say that the box holds 50 litres total. Now the inflow here, I'm going to say that I'm pumping in 5 litres per minute of pure oxygen. And the outflow is also going to be 5 litres per minute, but we don't really know the concentration here. That concentration is going to change over time. It's going to start at 23% oxygen, but as I pump in 100% oxygen, that bit's going to change as well. All right, so I don't have any question for you at the moment. All I want to do is set up a differential equation that models it. Now, we've been talking about percentages and things like that, but we really don't want to talk percentages with these mixing problems. Instead, we want to talk about the amount of uh, oxygen, let Q be litres of oxygen in the tank at T minutes. And now let's write a differential equation the rate of change of litres of oxygen in the tank with respect to time. And that's going to be equal to the amount of oxygen going in, or the rate of oxygen going in, the rate of inflow, minus the rate of oxygen going out, the rate of outflow. Now, the rate of inflow in this question is going to be really, really easy. It's coming in at a rate of 5. Now, you're going to be tempted here to say like 5t, 5 time, but that's not it. It's a constant rate of flow of 5. All right, what about the rate of outflow? Well, that's trickier, but we can still work it out. It's going to be equal to the amount of oxygen in the tank and Q is the amount of oxygen in the tank, divided by the total amount that the tank holds, divided by 50. So this is just the percentage of uh, oxygen in the tank, right? Multiplied by, now we know that the gas is coming out at 5 litres per minute. So this is the percentage that's in the tank. If we multiply it by 5, we'll know how much oxygen is coming out of the tank at that time. Now that simplifies as 5 minus Q over 10, but we can also put the whole thing over 10, and we get 50 minus Q over 10. Now this is our differential equation. Uh, the rate of change of the oxygen in litres with respect to time is equal to 50 minus Q over T. But we really need an equation in terms of T. Now that we have our differential equation. So we're going to flip that equation and then integrate it. So dt dq equals 10 over 50 minus q, and then t equals negative 10 ln 50 minus q, and then don't forget your plus c on the end. All right, so we have an equation here where a time is equal to this in terms of uh, liters of oxygen plus c. And your next instinct should be to find this c value here. Now, we know that at time equals zero, um, it's 23% oxygen. But we ditched percentages in the beginning. We don't want to know the percentage of oxygen. We want to know the actual litres of oxygen. So Q at time zero is equal to 0.23 times the amount of this 50, which is 11.5 litres. So at time zero, Q is equal to 11.5, and that information is going to be enough for us to be able to find C. So subbing 0 and 11.5 into our equation, we can solve C, which is 10 ln 38.5. Now that we have a C value here, we can put that C value back into our original equation, and because they're logs, we're going to be able to do some like smooshing them together. Might just slow this down a bit of 10 and negative 10, so 10 on the outside, and then you get ln 38.5 minus ln this. And our log laws are going to let us do ln 38.5 uh, divided by this 50 minus q. Okay, 
and that is our equation for t. Um, all right, that's pretty good. Actually, let me take that back. It's not pretty good, it's awesome. When it comes to these mixing problems, this is where we need to get to all the time because once we're here, we can answer whatever question they want to throw at us. So if they say something like, when will there be 50% oxygen in the tank? We can figure it out from here. How much oxygen will be there be in the tank after 12 minutes? We can figure it out from here. So we can answer any of those questions. So if the question was, when is the oxygen 50%, then we just need to sub in, not 50%, but we need to sub in 25 for Q. And when I do that, I find out that that's going to happen at 4.32 minutes. If the question was how much oxygen after 12 minutes, we're just subbing 12 in for T and solving it. Now I've cheated here a little bit, used my calculator, Q equals 38.4 litres. If you wanted to know the concentration, obviously you're doing 38.4 over 50, which is a decent question that you might get asked here. Okay, um, I can't go through every single type of question here when it comes to these mixing problems, but they're all the same. It's all a box with stuff coming in, stuff coming out. It's um, a rate of inflow. Sometimes there's a rate of inflow of zero. Sometimes you're putting um, gas in there that has no oxygen in it. So the rate of inflow is zero. Uh, a rate of outflow, and that's always some sort of percentage arrangement um, because you've got some amount and then it's changing over time. It's really the setting up. Once you've set the thing up, then it's no different to solving any other differential equation. And then once you've done that, you're just subbing in values. Mixing problems, it's about practice.